Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars and you're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, you'll consider subscribing and better yet, you'll click that bell for notification. That way, every time I post up a new video, which is usually about twice a week, you'll get an email letting you know that a new video from Highline Guitars is ready to watch at your leisure. What I wanna to do today is I wanna answer a question from a viewer. And the viewer asked, can you build a guitar using nothing but a CNC machine? In other words, no other traditional power tools such as a bandsaw, drill press, planer, joiner, etc. And the short answer to that question is yes, you certainly can. However, CNC machines can be fairly expensive and that's a pretty major investment. So I think it warrants a little bit more detail in the answer so that you can make the right decision as to whether or not to purchase a CNC machine or to purchase both a CNC machine as well as all the other equipment that uh, I just mentioned. And I'm gonna give you some examples of what to consider. So with a CNC machine, you can do everything. You can cut, carve, route, drill, all the operations that we used to do with those traditional power tools. Uh, as I mentioned, the drill press, the bandsaw, the joiner, planer, etc. Now, even though the CNC machine can do all that work, it doesn't necessarily do it all as efficiently as the old methods we used to use. And that's why I have all that equipment. Uh, not only do I have the CNC machine, but I have my old drill press, my old band saw, a joiner, uh, planer, and all my sanding equipment, table saw, uh, all that uh, traditional woodworking uh, equipment. In fact, I had that from the very beginning. That's what I started with. And when I decided I was gonna go down the CNC path, I decided to add CNC to the mix in order to give me uh, the best of all worlds. Now, with the CNC machine, you can definitely do all the operations that those other machines do, but like I said, it's not as efficient. Uh, for example, drilling holes. Normally, uh, even with the CNC machine, I like to use my drill press to drill the holes because it's faster. I can do the work much quicker. You can still do it with a CNC machine, but first of all, you need to create the files that you're gonna use. You need to establish tool paths, write the G code. Then you have to clamp your workpiece uh, precisely to the CNC machine's wasteboard before you can even do those operations. Furthermore, with a CNC machine, you're using either a router or a spindle. And in both cases, those use collets whereas a drill press uses a chuck. And with a chuck, you can open the jaws or close the jaws to accommodate any size drill bit shaft. So whether you're doing a really tiny 32nd of an inch hole or a half inch or even bigger, the chuck on a drill press is designed to accommodate that and it's relatively easy to use. But with a CNC machine, you have to change the collet to match the shaft of the bit that you're using. So if it's a 1 32nd inch drill bit, you're gonna to have to use a 1 32nd inch collet and so on. You know, if you wanna drill a 5 16 inch hole, you're gonna to have to use a 5 16 inch collet. And the same obviously is true when you convert it over to metric. Now, the good news is, is there are collets available for just about every drill bit size out there. But that means you have to purchase a large quantity of collets and keep those organized. Then you have to, every time you need to drill a hole, you have to change the collet in order to accommodate the bit that you're gonna use. In some cases, you're gonna find that you don't have the right drill bit or collet to do the operation that you're planning to do. In that case, you'll be tempted to use a routing or pocketing strategy to form the hole. And that's just not the most efficient way to drill holes in wood. So that's a good example of how having a drill press in conjunction with the CNC machine makes sense. Another example would be planing wood. Now, normally I run boards through my, my 
uh, 13 inch planer. It's extremely fast and easy way to plane a surface absolutely flat. You can do that on a CNC machine by using the right kind of bit and you'll have to again set up the files, uh, establish your tool paths and clamp down your workpiece and then plane it. Now one of the the problems you'll run into is unless you have a vacuum clamping system, clamping a workpiece down that you're going to plane can be a problem because the clamps can get in the way. So you have to plan out that strategy. So it's becoming obviously a little less efficient to do it with the CNC machine than it would be to just run a board through the, the CNC or through the uh, planer. Uh, now an advantage would be uh, in my case, for example, I've got a 13 inch wide planer. If I needed to plane a surface that's wider than 13 inches, I'd, I'd have to use the CNC machine because my planer isn't wide enough to do that. So that's an advantage where it makes sense to use the CNC to do those operations. Another example uh, would be uh, truing up an edge that you're going to glue to another edge. So let's say you're going to be making a two piece body blank or let's say a five piece neck blank. Those surfaces that are going to be glued together have to be machined absolutely perfectly flat. You can do that again with the CNC machine, but like the method of planing, it's going to take a lot more work to get things set up and to do the actual operation. It's much easier just to run the surface over the blades of a joiner. So as you can see, it makes sense really if you're building a lot of guitars and trying to do it quickly to have both your traditional power tools as well as your CNC machine to make a guitar as quickly and as, and as efficiently as possible. If you're not in a big hurry and want to save some money, by all means, purchase just the CNC machine and do all the work with the CNC machine. You can certainly do it, it just takes a little bit more setup effort. Uh, also, if you're doing batch runs of guitars, like let's say you're going to make 10, 15, 20 guitars, the advantage of having the CNC machine is once you get the operation set up, you can just repeat them over and over. So it gets a little bit more efficient. Although I will still say from experience, drilling holes, planing surfaces, joining edges is done much faster using the traditional tools than it is with the CNC machine. So if speed is a concern, that's something to take into consideration. And in the end, I think it all comes down to how much shop space you have and how much money you want to spend. If you're jumping into this without any experience whatsoever, if you're totally new to this, I would recommend considering just going the CNC route to do everything. And then as time passes, if you feel the need to increase your efficiency and speed up the process, you can start to add the tools as you need them. If you, however, already have a workshop and you maybe already have all those tools, keep them if you can. The only reason you would possibly need to get rid of them is if you need to make space for the new CNC machine. So that's where you gotta have, you've gotta kind of figure out what makes sense as far as uh, the type of equipment you're going to use in your workshop. So I hope all that makes sense. Um, I know it's kind of a complicated subject and there's a lot to consider when you're thinking about making that leap into CNC technology. But I can tell you from my experience, making that, that leap into the new technology is absolutely worth it. And yes, if my CNC machine were to suddenly stop working or you know for some reason I couldn't use it I could definitely make my guitars entirely using those old traditional uh, power woodworking tools but I definitely enjoy the process much more using the CNC machine so I wouldn't hesitate to recommend a total CNC environment so uh, as always I hope you found this video to be useful if so click the thumbs up button and I hope that you'll be back for the next episode and take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.